Director Hendricks, Director Richardson, Director Peck, Director Hines, Director Wright, Director Wyrick, Director Compiris, Director Fortson, Director Adcock, Vice Mayor Webb, Mayor Scott. Do you want to turn me? Oh, I am on. Thank you. <laughs> Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and allowing us to meet in this public forum. With 2019 unfolding, we leave the roller coaster year of 2018 behind us. In 2018, there were more ups and downs than we could have imagined. As we move through 2019 ahead of us, please help us to mend fences and build bridges. Love and prayer should be allowed to govern us. Remember, love and prayer brought us through 2018 and will carry us through 2019. There will always be ups and downs. Help, help us to steady the course. The real issue is discovering how we must go about accomplishing our goals for our great city, how we bring quality of life to our neighborhoods, churches, and businesses. Help us do that. The year 2019 brings an opportunity for our city to your council. We must not argue with, about politics. Rather, we must be prayerful to accomplish our goals and steady the course to completion. I pray that you guide us through the next year. Be with our directors and mayor as we plot the course for 2019 in our first organizational meeting tonight. I pray for the protection of our first responders. May they escape death and injury and bring others to safety as well. I pray for our city employees as they perform their jobs in our city. And I pray for each of us here in this room that we have safe travels home. These things I ask in your name. Amen. 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 Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Madam Clerk, if you would, please read the consent agenda. The consent agenda consists of a motion to accept the oath of office of the mayor and the six Little Rock City Board Directors, and those oath of offices are filed in the city clerk's office. Mayor Frank Scott, Jr., Ward 1, Irma Hendricks, Ward 2, Ken Richardson, Ward 3, Kathy Webb, Ward 5, Lance Hines, Ward 6, Doris Wright, and Ward 7, B.J. Wyrick. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Motion passes. This now brings us to the citizens' communication portion of our agenda. For those who are wishing to participate in the citizen, com citizen communication, you will have three minutes to present a specific item that is not already on the agenda. A max agenda. A maximum of 30 minutes is allotted for the citizen communication portion of the meeting. I have one card from a Mr. Russ Raycop, and the specific topic, topic is the Little Rock Police Department suspended officers and transparency. Thank you so much, Mr. Raycop. Thank you, Mayor. Um, we had uh, two Little Rock police officers suspended in uh, December for, uh, in connection with domestic violence issues. One of them happens to be a well-known homicide detective uh, who told his... Uh, ex-girlfriend that he could uh, take care of her and hide her body so no one would find it. Uh, there were also several officers terminated in December, November for uh, behavior. Uh, we uh, know about the uh, no-knock warrants and some of those officers, some of those undercover officers have a lengthy history of disciplinary actions and uh, it's time that we do something about this. We have the search on for a new chief of police and uh, I think it's time that the board moves forward and forms a citizens review committee that will look into uh, the police department and make recommendations how to move uh, forward with that. Also, uh, Mayor, in your inauguration address, you uh, indicated that uh, transparency was going to be part of your administration. And uh, I'm here to ask you to come clean about your sealed criminal case and uh, the allegations that you tried to use your position as a highway commissioner to persuade law enforcement to uh, not pursue their case. 
Uh, this is important because the nature of the crime could lead to you being removed from office under the uh, uh, under uh, certain state guidelines yeah. that if you've been convicted of a particular type of crime, you cannot hold a public office. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Raycock. That concludes all the cards that we that were submitted for citizen communication. Uh, the board will now go into executive session for the election of vice mayor and the appointments of board of directors liaisons to the various city of Little Rock boards and commission. Can we go into executive session? Second. There's a motion and a second. Excuse me. With personnel matters outlined. There's been a motion and a second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say nay. Thank you. Going back from executive session, I will call the meeting back into order. A resolution approving, uh, approving the, the liaison appointments will be included on the February 5th, uh, 2019 Board of Directors agenda. Um, in regards to the citizen participation at the board meetings, going forward, I repeat, going forward, persons wishing to address the city board during citizen communication will be required to submit a yellow card to the city clerk prior to the official start of the meeting. Likewise, any persons wanting to speak for or against an item on the agenda will need to submit a white card to the city clerk prior to the official start of the meeting in which the item will be voted on by the board. Both the yellow citizen communications cards and the white agenda items cards are available on the table in the hallway located outside of the board chambers. Uh, this is a change. Uh, this is different. Uh, we will support free speech uh, in the allotted 30 minutes time with three minutes per individual during the citizens communication. I'll read again. In regards to the citizens' participation at the board meetings, going forward, persons wishing to address the city board during the citizens' communication will be required to submit a yellow card to the city clerk prior to the official start of the meeting. Likewise, any persons wanting to speak for or against an item on the agenda will need to submit a white card to the city clerk prior to the official start of the meeting in which the item will be voted on by the board. Both the yellow citizens communications card and the white agenda items cards are available on the table in the hallway located outside of the board chambers. Again, this is uh, to forward transparency here at City Hall and to engage, enhance and engage free speech. Again, we will still remain the 30 minutes and three minutes per person uh, allotment. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Move adjourn. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we have to announce the vice mayor. It, I am uh, proud to announce, oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. I am proud to announce, oh, well, we do, we have a, we have a nomination for, all those in favor say aye, aye. all those opposed say nay. Eyes have it. Our new vice mayor is B.J. Wyrick. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Adjourn. Second. adjourn.